16,800 people are about to view my face. Now I'm prepared to be viewed by people. Hello, Internet. Hello, FTM Transastic. My name is Kai. This week is intro week, so I'm going to be introducing myself to you lovely, lovely, lovely people. So as far as introducing myself, I decided to rant off some facts about me. That So here we go. My first one is I am 14. I'm about to be 15 in June. I live in Louisiana, the boot state. I live in not the conservative part of Louisiana because when people here where I live, they're like, oh my God, you live in crazy Christian state. True. But my city is very open and it's very, very gay, so yay. So even though I live in Louisiana for most of my life, I was born in Ithaca, New York, which is all the way at the top, you know, I don't know what I'm pointing to, but you know, it's up there, it's a state up there. And I'm talking very fast because I have a lot of energy for coming out. I came out to my family in th around Thanksgiving time and it didn't go too well at first, but now it's super awesome because now my mom's super accepting and she loves me and I love her and it's great. So number two fact about me is I'm naturally transitioning at the moment because I went to doctor and had a lot of issues with getting on hormone blockers and hormones. So for now, I'm doing this thing called naturally transitioning. If you haven't heard about it, it's where pretty much everything you eat is very high in testosterone and you don't eat a lot of foods that are high in estrogen. And then it involves a lot of working out. And physically, I've seen some differences, but not a lot, but I haven't been doing this for very long. But I something I'd recommend if you can't get hormones, um, anytime soon because it definitely mentally helps you out. I've been working out more, I've been a lot happier with my body. I've been cooking like a lot of foods and I've been learning about different foods and what's healthy and what's not. So yes, yeah, so I'm naturally transitioning right now. Number three is I have the attention span of a goldfish if you haven't already noticed by me jittering around the room. Number four is for my age, I'm extremely hardworking. My school day is from 8.30 in the morning to 6.30 at night and I am in a like my school, it's a little confusing. It's an art school. So everyone that goes there has like different art disciplines. And everyone's in their disciplines, but we all come together in the school day. My discipline is theater design. So I'm designing sets on plays and the school has their own plays and they're these really big productions. So I'm designing the sets, I'm designing the sounds and the lighting. They're not designing, but I'm like helping out and I'm learning a lot about it. My favorite thing to do is sound within that and I work like a lot a lot which is why I'm trying to figure out the best time for me to record my videos since if I have a show week I'm usually from at school from 8.30 in the morning to like 10.30 at night because there's a whole show you know and it takes like four hours so yeah I'm very busy for my age and most of my weekends are also filled with working shows but it's something I really enjoy. Number five, I want to talk about jobs that I want to have because I'm young and I still have potential. Not that old people don't have potential, but I, I, I can do things. And so what I want to be when I grow up, which isn't too far from now, is a sound designer on concerts and shows. So I'd get to, you know, tour around the world and see bands. I'd also interested in designing sets for movie productions. And I want to be a tattoo artist. This summer, I'm getting an internship at a local tattoo slash tattoo museum parlor thing in my neighborhood, and I'm super excited because I get to learn all the techniques from the artist and hopefully work there full time as an artist when I get older. Number six, I probably have the sense of humor, like love for movies and you know TV shows and toys and music of a 50 year old man. I have the soul of a little 50 year old man inside me. I think it's because when I was younger just being raised um, partly by my dad and he you know introduced me to bands like Green Day and what else uh, Simon and Garfunkel and just awesome classic rock music and then I learned about TV shows. I you know love the old tapes, put them in, watch an awesome movie and I'm into old old-ish stuff. It's not that old, it's like old-ish. Yeah. Number seven, one of my biggest obsessions and fandoms of all time is X-Men. You know, if you are into X-Men, leave me a comment because we could talk. Like, I could rant for probably, oh my god, like three to four hours just about how much I'm obsessed with X-Men. I love the comics. I love the movie, the last movie, like blew my mind. I went to see it four times in the movie theater, which was a lot of slushies, 
and a lot of movie tickets, but I, I'm in love, okay? I love it so much. Just Number eight is I'm obsessed with art. I do a lot of art things, mainly visual art, but also as you hear me talking about, you know, building and sound and everything. I, I just, I've always used art as a way to keep me occupied, whether I was sad, whether I was happy. I need something to put my mind to and to be creative, and I've always used art as a way to be creative. Number nine is I'm absolutely obsessed with YouTube, YouTube culture, YouTubers, oh my god. To like name some of my favorites, I mean everyone on Transtastic, um, all the trans YouTubers, like the real Alex Burry and Jake Edwards, they're probably my favorite like ship of all time, I love them. Tyler Oakley, Troy Sivan, Kata Franta, you know, all the big ones, but I also love a lot of little YouTubers as well and I just I spend most of my time on YouTube I don't really watch TV this is all I do with my life and number 10 is why I'm really happy to be on this channel and that I'm getting this opportunity in this platform so let me talk about that a little bit when I was trying to figure out what was going on with me and why I didn't understand you know what I was feeling and everything about myself I of course turn to YouTube. I think it's one of the best platforms for young people. And that's my theory to why people are coming out at such a younger age is because we have things like the internet where if you're like, I think I'm gay, you can look it up and you can find coming out videos. You can find advice videos from other gay people who will tell you about themselves. So for me, when I found channels like Transtastic, when I found The Real Alex Brady, Chase Ross 100%, the first video I watched of Chase Ross was the uh, Shit Trans Guy Say. And I found myself just hysterically laughing at it. I was like, wait, I'm not trans. This shouldn't be so funny to me. And then I realized, I was like, no, this is funny to me because I am trans and because this is like, this is me. This video is me. So I just related that to that a lot. And when I started my personal YouTube channel, my wish was to be able to connect with people and be able to help people because I feel like our purpose in life is to benefit ourselves and other people as long as we're on this earth. And I just, I really hope I get the opportunity to do that. And I'm really, really excited for the future and this channel and everything. And I hope you guys found something I said entertaining. So I want you guys in the comments to tell me some things about yourself. It could be your fandom, it could be, you know, things you like, it could be where you, like the area you live in, what languages you speak, because I speak like a few, I'm fluent in French by the way, another fact about me. So I want to learn about you guys too, I'll do my best to respond to comments, I always try to respond to comments. My personal channel will be linked below, my most recent video is about sexuality and then I have like a binder review and some other stuff, and a short film that for some reason is getting a lot of views. And I will link those below, I'll link my Facebook, I'll link the Tumblr, I'll link that and this and that. And thank you guys very much. Bye!